Okay, so continuing on, we're going to look at uh, Revelations 11. Revelation 11, chapter the 12th and 13th verse. Revelation 11 and 12. We're still into these chariots. The vehicles of the Most High, vehicles of the angels. Revelation 11 and 12. This goes right along with 1 Corinthians 4.16. 1 Corinthians 4.16. Go right along with it. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. We're going to ascend up to heaven in a cloud. The chariot of the most high. What they call a flying saucer, what we call an IFO, identified flying object. Not unidentified flying object, we know what they are. You should know by now. We done heard this over and over again. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. And they're going to behold us. We just read what they're going to say. In Wisdom of Solomon 5 17, you go up to probably about. Verse, um, see, this is salvation coming to Israel. This is, gonna, this is what they're going to say. Verse 1 says, Then said the righteous man stand in great boldness in the face of such as afflicted them and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. Remember what it's saying. They heard a great voice, it's Revelation 11 and 12, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. This is what they're going to be saying. This is what our enemies going to be saying. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. They're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. As he said, Come up hither. And we're going to ascend up in the. In the the air and the chairs of the most high. So far beyond all that they look for. So far beyond all they look for. And they look look at uh hold that. Get uh Micah seven and seven and uh sixteen before I forget. The spirit let me do. Micah seven and sixteen. The nation shall see and be confounded. The nation gonna see it and be confounded. Gonna be confused at all their might. And they shall lay their hand upon their mouth. And their ears shall be deaf. They're gonna be hearing nothing. They shall lift the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes, the worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the most high while my shall go inside our power and shall fear because of thee. Hear that? So now. But this is what they're going to say. Was it Solomon 5 and 2? When they see it, they shall be in trouble with terrible fear. Just like we just read. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit. They're going to be angry. And repenting. Hey, man, we lost out, man. This is what they're going to say. Shall say within themselves. This is what they're going to say. Like I say, the past, the present, the future is all here. This was he, not him, whom we had sometimes a derision and a proverb of reproach. All the different names they call us. We fools are calling his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? Remember, they taught that they the children of the Most High. All they got to do is call on the name of Jesus. They're going to be saved, right? And his light is among the saints. The saints are the 12 tribes of Israel. Psalms 148, 14. They ain't going nowhere. It's going to be there every day, 24-7. Just open up your Bible and read it. The definition of the saints. Psalms 148 and 14. Therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We reared ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. We went through this already earlier. Yeah, 
We have gone through deserts where there lay no way. I'm not saying I'm trying to say he the way. But that's for the way of the Most High. And I'm not saying I was shy. I didn't know what to say. It's only begotten Son. We have not known it. That's what they're going to say. As they be, as they see in us, as the word says, Revelation 11 and 12, and they heard a great voice of, from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. We already know what they're going to say. We just read what they're going to say. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, destruction is coming. In that hour, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand. And the render were frightened and gave glory to the most high power of heaven. Gonna scare everybody. Remember, say everybody gonna be afraid. <laughs> well, because of Mashiach Kelvin See? So, this is what we gotta look at. And the elite know this, you know. The elite knows this. It's just a matter of most people don't know. So he gonna say, "Come up hither," and when we go, come up hither, go to uh, we go in these chariots. Go to Isaiah 26 and 20. Go into these flying vehicles of the Most High, these chariots that's coming to get the twelve tribes of Israel. Once we go in, this is what's gonna happen. Isaiah 26 and 20. Say, "Come, my people, into thy enter." into thy chambers and into these ships and shut thy doors about thee. Go shut the doors about us. Like Noah shut that ark. We're gonna shut doors. Cause remember there's 200 million angels coming to, to gather us from all four corners of the earth. So shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. That hour. That hour. Until the indignation be overpassed. See? To the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Most High goes to the Mashiach, the other coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, for their sins, for their wickedness. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Wow, man. No more covering up the slain, dead bodies. No more. Go to Matthew 13 and 49. Matthew 13 and 49. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall go come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. Over and over again. The angel going to come in the chairs of the Most High, the clouds of the Most High, pillar of fire of the Most High, the whirlwind of the Most High, and sever, cut the wicked from among the just. Going to cut the wicked from among the just. And shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Like he said, your name not written in the book of life, and we cast through the lake of fire. If this is all, that's what this is all about. Matthew 24 and 27. Matthew 24 and 27. Whereas the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You know how uh, how lightning comes from the east and shining even into the west. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be coming from the east to the west. So he let you know. But whatsoever the carcasses is, the carcasses is, that's the dead body is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Meaning they're going to be killing. They're going to be killing. Eagles represent who? It's a sign of who? Edomites. That's their symbol. There will the eagles be gathered together. It says, continuing, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened for all the destruction that's going to be happening. And the moon 
shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. Not the stars in the sky. Remember, they're going to always be there. That's the celebrities, the ones that's in power. The uppities going to fall from heaven. Heaven is, is power from authority on this earth. Heaven represents the earth too. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. See? The superpowers of the earth going to be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, of Mashiach Kavashai, in heaven. They're going to see him in heaven, in the sky, in the firmament, coming from the fourth dimension. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. See, everybody going to wail because of him. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Coming with the angels, the vehicles, the chariots of the Most High of heaven with power and great glory. He comes with power and great glory to judge and make war. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, as we read in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. And they shall gather together his elect, one third of the twelve tribes of Israel, from the four winds, from the four corners of the earth, from one end of heaven, one end of earth, of the earth to the other. See? Thus say the most high. Uh, 2nd Ezra 7 43. 2nd Ezra 7 and 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Get up? The day of doom shall be the end of this time. And the beginning of the immortality to, for to come. Wherein corruption is past, intemperance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown in truth. The law of the Most High has sprung up. That's why it's so important that we rehearse the righteous acts to start looking at what the law says and doing them. Follow them. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. So you ain't better save them that's destroyed, the wicked that's gonna be destroyed, you gonna be able to save them, nor the wicked oppress the righteous anymore. The day is over, and that day is over. Finish. So, look at uh, Wisdom of Solomon, fifth chapter, we're going there a lot today. Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. And we're going to look at the 20th verse, I believe it is. 5 and 20, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, 5 and 20. His severe wrath shall be sharpened for a sword. Let me say out of his mouth will come a sword. And he's going to smite the nation. His severe wrath shall be sharpened for a sword. And the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad. This is destruction. And from the clouds, there it is, they're from the clouds. Clouds are the angels of the most high, the chariots of the most high. As from a well-drawn bow, as from a well-drawn bow, like he pulling that, that archer's pulling that bow back. This is these just missiles. And be shot into the ends of the world. And from the clouds. As from a well-drawn bow, shall they fly to the mark. They're going to hit that mark. These missiles are going to hit that mark. You say, and hailstones full of wrath shall be cast as out of a stone boat. And the water of the sea shall rage against them. And the flood shall cruelly drown them. But we know he's going to use the water. They'll raise up as a sea. And the flood's going to cruelly drown them. But he's not going to drown them all. He's bringing fire this time. He's going to drown, drown some of them, like he's saying. And the flood shall cruelly drown them. Yeah, going to cruelly drown them, but that's not how they're going to go out. Just some going to go out like that. Yeah, a mighty wind shall stand up against them. That's that nuclear destruction that we can think of now. But once I got something for, for them that's going to make nuclear destruction look like nothing. In one hour, he's going to do all this? Shh. Understand this. Yeah, a mighty wind shall stand up against them. 
and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity, your wickedness, and these sinful people shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealings shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. You go get them. Wisdom Solomon 6 and 5. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. For mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. Okay. Verse 8. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. Unto you, therefore, O kings, that's ruling this earth, do I speak, do the Most High speak, that ye may learn wisdom and not fall away. For they that keep holiness holily shall be judged holy, and they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. Wherefore set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. As it is this day, this day, as you hear of these chariots, the vehicles of the Most High, the angels of the Most High that's coming to put in some work, some real work. Let's go back to Psalms 104 and 3 and 4. So you don't forget, you know, Israel is. Uh, the chariots, I know he said the chariots were something. What were they? Uh, what scripture was that? <laughs> Psalms 104 and 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariots, who maketh the clouds his chariot, his vehicle, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angel spirits, his ministers of flaming fire. So with the chariots, and the angels, we're looking at Psalm 68 and 17 again. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So these chariots are angels. These chariots are spirits. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Most High, what Mashiach is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. See, that's what's so beautiful, man. And people not really seeing how beautiful this is to to know the understanding of the Word of the Most High, so that we can be able to. Come to higher learning because when my shall I come back for all that's known and being brought forth and you ignore it, you don't want to know anymore, how are you going to take you to the kingdom? Look, Acts the seventh chapter and the thirtieth verse. Well, let's read verse 29 so you know what it's talking about. Then fled Moses at this saying and was a stranger in the land of Madian where he begot two sons and when forty years were expired there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of the Most High in a flame of fire in a bush. See? It was an angel of the Most High that was dealing with Moses. The flame of fire that we know is the word of the Most High. Well, some of you might not know, but go to Jeremiah 23, 29. Jeremiah 23, 29. So you know that the angel of the Most High is bringing that fire, that word of the Most High. Look, Jeremiah 23, 29. It's not my word like as a fire. You see? So the angels are bringing the word of the Most High. Most I have a voice. The angel of the Most High bring the word of the Most High. It's not my word like as a fire, said the Most High, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. So... That's what the angels are doing. So that's what you see. Who is that, Mouse? Sinai, an angel of the Most High. You see? We never dealt directly with the Most High. Anybody ever seen the Most High? 
That's why it's going to take my second shot a thousand years to show us of the most high. Then we're going to uh, make that change if it's most high will. Look at uh, Acts the seven chapter, just read there. Uh, Look at verse uh, 51. I'm concentrating on verse 53 for now. It says, Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart. You stiff necked and uncircumcised in mind and ears. You do always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. The holy angels, Holy Spirit. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? See? The wicked spirits of the Pharisees back in the day. It was the prophets. Well, then, not to say the prophets, but the ones that was dealing with killing the prophets, I might say. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Like those persecuting those that believe in the name of the Lord and Savior. And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one. They slain the ones that showed before the coming of the just one. Where he said, if I, and I, if I be lifted up, would y'all all men unto me? He said, follow me. Not follow some man, but follow Mashiach Yahweh Shai, but man saying follow me. And people follow him. That's why I say they come in their own name. You just take you accept him. But he come in the name of the Father, he won't accept him. Say, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. The same one, same spirits. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels. Disposition of angels. Not directly with the most high. And have not kept it. You know? We received the law by the disposition of angels. And have not kept it. Why you say that? Because. Once again. Mark 7 and 9. Not even listen. You should know this by heart. Mark 7 and 9. And he said unto them, the Master was I said unto these scribes and Pharisees, For well you reject the commandment of the Most High, that ye may keep your own tradition. See? They rejected the commandments of the Most High and set up their own traditions, just like they do today. Set up their own tradition, their own own way of how you're supposed to worship and serve the Most High through the way that they done created through these religions and so forth. Most High didn't set that up. He set up no religion. Show me your religion that you can vouch and really say, according to this Bible, that you can go into it and see that it's beyond what the Most High told us in following His laws, His commandments, keeping His rules and regulations. Show it to me. I don't care what religion it is in this day. So, Mark 7 and 7. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. See, that's what you're dealing with all these religions, the commandments of men, traditions of men. Straight up. So, that's why you see what's going on here. But we were told the law by the disposition of angels. You see, people don't understand spiritual things. That's why we look at uh, go to John the sixth chapter and the forty fourth verse. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. See, so nobody can come to him, I shall I shall let the most high draw you to him. And I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets. And they shall be all taught of the Most High. Every man therefore that have heard and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. 
not that any man have seen the Father, say he which is of the Most High, he have seen the Father. Do you know who seen the Father? Nobody. But on my shot, God was shot. Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, he that believe on me have everlasting life. But he's going to show you other father. He's going to show you the, the part of what we got to deal with to please the Most High. Period. Most High, forgive all our iniquities and give us a clean slate. Be with the Mashiach, El Shai. You know, Mashiach going to teach us of the Father for a thousand years. He's going to make that change to everlasting life. And most High going to be all in all. That's what this is all about anyway. He gave us a pathway to follow. That our names will be written in the book of life to live forever and ever and ever. Other than that, you're wasting your time. Because Israel is not going to save you. Being an Israelite is not going to save you. You better know how to please the Most High. You better know his rules and regulations, what, how he feel. Man will lead you straight to hell. You trust in man. <laughs> Cursed be the man that trusts in man. Trust in the Most High as you see his word is coming out. You don't trust in a man, trust in a man that's following, thus say the most high, his word. Scripture after scripture, precept after precept. Go to Exodus 13 and 18. But the most high, through Mashiach El Shai, the angel of the most high, led the people about. Through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. Went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. Look at verse 21. And the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, as an angel of the Most High, went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire. To give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night, nor before the people. So, understand this and overstand this. But we know that this was the Mashiach El Shai, but as an angel of the Most High. Not as a Mashiach El Shai who came in the flesh, but as an angel of the Most High. Okay. Look at um, and we read about it in First Corinthians, tenth chapter, the fourth verse. He said that rock that followed him was a Mashiach, Yahushua. Telling you that. Jeremiah sixteen fourteen and fifteen. Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Most High, that it shall no more be said, the Most High living, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But, it's what's going to be said, the Most High living, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither they are had driven them. Right in America, North America, and all the lands in the four corners of the earth where the Most High has driven us. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Hear that? And I, not the, not no man, because you got men wanting you to, to go back to the Holy Land. It's got to be destroyed. It's got to be burnt up. Period. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. See? The Most High going to do this. Don't let no man fool you thinking that you, I mean, that's, people can believe whatever they want to believe. Next thing you know, the Most High is out the window. The Most High really out the window because he just told you. No man comes to the Father except for by him. And if they not the Most High, they can't bring you to the Most High. Period. That's why he said, go to, don't get it twisted. Look, Isaiah 60. Isaiah the 60th chapter. Verse 21. Thy peoples also shall be all righteous. The Israelites going to be all righteous. We're going to follow the laws, statute, commandments of the Most High. Period. To be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of 
my planting. Not no man. Remember I read to you in the spirit, not knowing that we're going to come here. But the spirit already said in Deuteronomy 28, 29. No man shall save thee. So we, that's what happened with me before. Most of us said, all you need is me. All you need is me. And my son, my only God's son. That's all you need. But no, we want a king. We want somebody to be one, to follow man. So you point the finger at man. The most high ruler in the kingdom of man. Instead of over it, whomsoever he will. You see what I'm saying? Instead of over at the basis of men, where we at now. The most high ruler in the kingdom of men. So hey, most high say, hey, all you need is me. But no, nah, we want a king. That's why you got men on this earth, the same, they might not be called kings, but they got that same type of mindset that want people to follow them. Next thing you know, they ain't believing in the most high in my shot no more. They believing in man. Ain't no man gonna save you, period. Listen, listen what the most high said. As far as dealing with Planting us in our own land. He said what? Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting. This is the most high going to do this. The work of my hands. Why? That I may be glorified. This is all about the most high. It's about no man. He going to be all in all. Understand this. Just what he said. What he's gonna do. Now I know I'm I'm, I'm afraid of the most. I'm not. I'm afraid of the most. I'm not. I'm, I, I I can't see myself trying to go against what he said he's gonna do. Hey. Fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Better understand this. Overstand this. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, a homeland is great to visit. No, the spirit that's in the, in the land and so forth, but the most I said this. In Ezekiel 38, verse 19. For in my jealousy, and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day, in that day, there shall be a great shaking. Where? In the land of Israel. There will be a great shaking in the land of Israel. So that the fishes of the sea, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the field, and all creeping things that creep upon the earth all the way down to the insects, he said. And all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence. Now, you know, he coming over there to shake that place up, man. Say everywhere, men going to be shaken at his presence. And the mountains shall be thrown down, and the steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground, he said. He said, I will call for a sword against him but throughout all my mountains, said the most high power. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands, upon his armies, and upon the many people that are with him, and overflowing rain and great hailstone, fire and brimstone. That's destruction, people. That's what I magnified myself. I tell you, it's, it's about the most high. Don't leave him out of the equation any way, shape, or form. And he's going to do it through his only begotten son of Mashiach that was shot. He said, I am my father and I one. They agreed. That's what I magnified myself, he said. And sanctified myself. This ain't got to do with us. This is about the most high. And I will be known in the eyes of many nations. And they shall know that I am the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Point blank. Thus say the most high. You know, so Mosiah is going to do what he's going to do. It behooves man to move out the way. And let the Mosiah do what he's going to do. He's going to do it. Psalm 68. 
Psalm 68 and 7. Psalm 68 and 7. O Most High, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, the earth shook. You hear that? When he went through the wilderness, the earth shook. The heavens also dropped at the presence of the Most High. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of the Most High, the power of Israel. <laughs> See, that's what you got to understand, people. It say, the earth shook. Shook. It said, all men going to shake. Well, all, no matter where you at, the presence of the Most High. Who was Mashiach, y'all was shot. Better understand or understand. This is serious. You see, people take it lightly because they don't really know the Most High or believe in Him. For that matter, well, we don't know the Most High. Open these scriptures and bring this forth. But understand and understand, this is serious. Real serious. So with that, we're going to continue on this and I hope you're edified and most high will. You'll study to show yourself approved unto the most high to see what it is that's been brought out so far. If you'd like further information, information you can reach me, Priest Star Awam at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. We got next forever, y'all. Forever, never, never. Study to show yourself approved unto the most high. Write it divine word, the truth. And I'm out. Shalom.